Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we beat the game fully. We saved our dad, who... Here he is. Good morning. Morning, Arya. Good morning. Morning, Dad. Today's the monster taming contest. Do you think of entering? Yeah. I have a monster who could do pretty well. <laughs> and let's take care of this contest. Good morning. Good morning, Aria! Sakala came back, did he? That's excellent news, Aria! How are you, Aria? Morning. In morning, Aria. So Kyle's come home, just like my fortune predicted. It's so peaceful here, don't you think so, Aria? Morning! Good morning, Aria. I'm so glad Kyle's back. I'm so happy for you, Aria. You are so full of energy, aren't you, Aria? Good morning. Good morning, Aria. I heard that your dad came back. That's great news, Aria. I'm so happy for you. A small creature called a beetle shrimp has taken up residence in the fields of the front of the school. I wish I could see that. Oh well. Good morning. M Hi, Arya. Good morning. Hello, Arya. Your daddy came back. That's great, Arya. Yay, I'm glad he's back. I love holidays. I want to relax and read a book. Alright. Morning. Good morning, Arya. I heard Kyle's back. That's great news, huh, Arya? Do you like summer, Arya? Now that I think about it. Good morning, Arya. Becoming friends with monsters, that might actually be a wonderful thing. Though you could never afford to totally let your guard down, could you? Never forget that you are dealing with monsters. Are you going to take part two? If so, please be sure to take care. Okay. Hi, Arya. Hello, Arya. Are you going to be in the competition, Arya? Good luck, Arya. It's kind of overlapped on itself because, you know, it is a festival and also I saved my dad. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Today's the monster team contest. You going to complete, Arya? Good morning. Good morning, Arya. It's so great that your dad came back, Arya. Good morning. Good hmm. morning. I think your father is just like you. I don't think I could eat a single cheesecake. I really can't stand them. Have you been reading the bulletin board? Oh, Aria, will you be participating in the participating in the monster taming contest? It's a chance to show off your monster mastery. If you win, that special someone's opinion of you will no doubt go up. And what's more, the winner will receive a fabulous prize. So how about it? Um, count me up. Oh, what a shame! You don't care about this stuff as much as I thought you did, Aria. One, you must be very happy to your dad's return, Aria. Aria, you share a striking resemblance to him, you know. The heart's nothing compared to the show the sweltering heat you get when you're forging a sword. It's the monster taming contest today. I admit, I have some interest in the weapons that monsters use. Morning. Good morning, Aria. That Kyle, just where has he been all this time? That idiot making everyone worry about him. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind later. Hey, Aria, if you catch a fish, let me have a taste, will you? It's the monster taming contest. Aria, you'd better not participate in this. It'll make Rosalind worry. It'll really make Rosalind worry. Right, right, you know, whatever, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Morning! Good morning, Aria! Wow, Kyle's come back? That's great, Aria! Anything interesting happening? Today's the monster taming contest. You aren't afraid of monsters, Aria. Morning. Morning, Arya. Kyle's come back. Isn't that great, Arya? Arya, do you like playing with me? Today's the monster taming contest. I'd love to be friends with a cute little monster. And you're already friends with me, and I'm an adorable little monster. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. I'm glad to see you've turned out so much like your father, Arya. I must say, today's turned out to be quite a fun day. Today's the monster taming contest. It'd be nice if monsters and humans became good friends, wouldn't it? Heck yeah. If only that could be a reality. You look well this morning, little human. Your father came back. I'm happy for you, little human. What do you want, little human? Today's the monster taming contest. You don't look like you'd be able to get along with monsters that well. If I remember right, Aaron, I think, is the one who, in the opening cutscene, is taming monsters, and I think Arya was watering the crops. 
So I think that's their technical strengths. Good morning. More than Aurea. Today's the monster taming contest. That's a strange idea for a contest. Not very many people pass through here. It's nice and quiet. No, oh, he doesn't say anything about my dad. So I cut him apparently. <laughs> anyway. Good morning, Aria. I knew that dad would come back. It's just like you said, Mom. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> I feel like that wasn't Mana saying that, but alright. It's nice to see that you've got a suntan from playing outside so much, Aria. Today's the monster taming contest. You're gonna try your luck. Heck yeah, and I'm gonna win. Or else. Morning. Good morning, Aria! Yahaha! <laughs> so Kyle came back, did he? Great news, eh, Aria? I knew he had the heart of a warrior in him! What brings you to this clinic? Not an injury, I hope! There's only one reason I come here to drink! <laughs> Today's the monster taming contest! It's dangerous for children to handle monsters! You'd better off just watching! Morning. Good morning, Aria! Your dad's come back, Aria, that's great! I feel great as ever today. Today's the monster taming contest. You gonna take part, Arya? Good morning. Good morning, Arya. I heard that your father came back, Arya. I bet you're really happy. It's hot again today, isn't it, Arya? Oh, well, monster taming contest. Arya, do you want to enter? Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Cow came back. Isn't that wonderful, Arya? Hello, Arya. It's pretty hot out here in the summer. A monster taming contest? It's pretty dangerous, so I think it might be, be better if you don't participate, Arya. Beep, 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 beep. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. Cow came back home. It's so wonderful to have him back. When I have a lot of housework to do, I don't even have time to come and wind to the park. But you don't have to worry about that yet, Arya. Today's the monster taming contest. I don't know if you should be entering something like that, Arya. Morning. Good morning, Arya. I can't believe Cow's back. It's not that wonderful, Arya. What are you going to do today, Arya? Today's festival is a little bit dangerous, so I think it's best you don't compete. Okay, Arya? Yeah, sure. I totally won't. Good morning, Arya. Kyle, I'm so glad you're back. How have you been, Arya? It's a monster taming contest today, isn't it? Monsters are dangerous creatures. I mean, yes, indeed they are. Now there's a festival today. I want to go play. Yeah, I figured I wasn't allowed to do that. Oh well. I'm in. Now that's what I'm talking about, Arya! Okay, now for the rules! The Monster Taming Contest is a competition that tests how quickly you can befriend a specific monster. For this year's contest, you'll be heading to Trieste for Spring Cleaning. Spring Clearing. <laughs> uh, clear, tame a monster and then please come back here. The person who befriends the monster the quickest time will be the winner. Do you need to hear the rules once more? Uh, no, I can just spring clearing, yeah. Okay, monster taming contest start! Right, it's not the, it's the glove. Um, it's the contest. I did it, I caught a monster. Let's see, the time is 1 minute 48 seconds. 1 hour 48 minutes? Oh, something like that. Alright, I became friends with the monster. I better hurry back. What a shame, Aria! The grand prize goes to Orland. Congratulations, Orland! The honorable mention goes to Leon. All the. I got third? An eggplant. You know, I'm not willing to accept this, and part of this was me forgetting which thing it was, so... I hate to say it, but uh, let's do a bit of space-time rewind. Hey! Nine past the hour. So, 69 minutes, I guess? Oh, you did that monster faster than I could have ever imagined! This is that we have first in human history! First place goes to Kyle! He's stealing my credit. <laughs> 
Congratulations! I hereby confer upon you the title of Monster Master. For your prize, I, pre I present you with a levelizer. You got a levelizer. The result of the contest are grand prize, honor mentioned Orland, and consolation prize, Lionel. Interesting. This one's also bugged, I see. <laughs> Good morning, Arya. Wow, Arya, I have a ton of respect for you. Morning. morning. You're skilled at befriending monsters, aren't you, Arya? Congratulations! Morning. Good morning, Arya. Wow, Arya, I guess maybe you have what it takes after all. Morning. Good morning, Arya. So you won, that's great, but just be careful, okay? Morning. Good morning, Arya! Congratulations, Arya! You did it! You really surprised me! <laughs> morning. Good morning, Arya. Nice going out there, Arya. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. You won, Arya. You certainly are, Kyle's child. I mean, he got all the credit for it, so... Eh. Morning. Good morning, Arya. Congratulations, but still, don't overdo it. Good morning, Arya! Congratulations, Arya! That was some impressive monster handling out there, a real sight to behold! With a strapping young in like you here in town, there's nothing for us to fear, is there? Morning! Good morning, Arya! Wow, Arya, you're amazing! Will you teach me your tricks? Morning! Good morning, Arya! That was great, Arya! I had no idea you were so good with monsters! Good morning! Good morning, Arya. Congratulations, I'm very impressed. Morning. Good morning, Arya. Wow, you did it. I didn't think you'd be able to. Morning. Morning, Arya. You're pretty good, Arya. Good morning, morning Arya. That was some that was amazing, Arya. You're taking more and more after your father every day. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. That was wonderful. Congratulations. Can you introduce me to the monster you made friends with? Good morning. Hi, Arya. Good morning. Hello, Arya. Great job, Arya. Nice, Arya. You're amazing. Good morning. Good morning, Arya. I'm so glad Kyle's back. I'm so happy for you, Arya. Oh, I forgot to talk to her earlier. Oh, well. You're always full of energy, aren't you, Arya? You did really well. I never thought you'd win. Morning. Morning, Arya. You won. That's incredible. You look well this morning, little human. Not bad for a human. For a minute there, it seemed like you almost understood them. Morning. Morning, Arya. It looks like you did well. Morning. Morning. Wow, well done. It's pretty hard to get along with that well with monsters. Morning. Morning, Arya. Congratulations, Arya. You won. Morning. Wow, Arya, I guess maybe you have what it takes after all. Morning. So you won. That's great, but just be careful, okay? I think that's everyone. If I missed anyone, I missed someone, but that's all for now. Let's move on to the next day. Well, there's one person I haven't talked to yet. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Arya. Good morning. Great job, Arya. I used to love this contest when I was your age. Right, he does actually have his memories back now that I think about it. He remembered everything, so he actually remembers time from before this village. Neat. All right, and now we're on to the next day. As you may have noticed, multiple days kept passing whenever we were doing story events specifically two days at a time. It would do like, oh hey, I need to go to bed and be ready first thing in the morning. And then the next day would pass and an event would happen. This happened twice, so we lost out on two to four days-ish? Somewhere in there. But luckily it just so happened that that worked out. Morning. Morning. Whenever I think of summer, I picture the ocean. The ocean breeze is so nice when it's hot out. All right. Sarah and Serena, let's play a guessing game. It'll be fun. Oh, cooking for beginners, which I believe I've already done, but I'll jump through this real quick. Yeah, I can't complete this, so we're just done on, what day is this, Monday or something? It is Monday, yeah, no wonder. All right. Then, I guess let's go and work on quests. Arya, let's play, let's play. Um, what should we play? 
Let's play Who's Who. What kind of game is that? You'll find out. Yeah, you'll find out. Okay, let's play it. Here we go. Um... Okay. Who is who? I mean, your outfits are different. Which one is Sarah? Which one? On the left? Correct. Yeah, Sarah has a different outfit, not to mention the parting of the hair. Wow, Arya, even our own mom and dad sometimes get us mixed up. Here's your prize. I had to get it right once. Okay. I was like, wait, is there a trick to this? No? Got a pudding. That was fun. We should play again sometime. Let's play again. Let's play. Why'd they go towards my house? Whatever. Um. Oh. I don't think I did these rematch ones before, did I? I would look into that. Um. Yeah, I have a request for you. Class has been too easy lately and it's becoming a problem. What's up? You want something? I'm here about what you posted on the bulletin board. Oh, what do you need? I've got something on my mind, actually. It's not all that happy with her less. I'm not all that happy with her lessons at the moment. How do you feel, Arya? I don't know. I think things are fine the way they are. Not me. I want harder classes. The ones we're taking now aren't cutting it. Wow, you must be pretty gifted if you think our current classes are too easy. Haven't I completed all of them by this point? Pretty much. Not really. Everyone else is just happy to settle for mediocrity. You think? I don't really feel that's true. Well, whatever. In any case, I want you to go to tell Barrett to teach us harder lessons. Can't you tell him yourself? No, I'm very busy, unlike you. Let me know when you've talked to him. Rude. Fair, but rude. I don't have a lot going on. <laughs> Do you need something? Yeah, actually, Orlin told me that he wishes your classes were more difficult. He did? Well, I guess my lessons have been a little lacking. I didn't know he felt that way, though. But he does seem to enjoy learning at a faster pace than the rest of you guys. Alright, I'll make more challenging lessons just for Orland. The regular lessons should be enough for the rest of you. But Orland should have come talk to me directly about this, instead of dragging you into it. I don't know what to do with him sometimes. Well, I was impressed, because I had never really thought about it myself. I suppose. He's hard to understand sometimes, but I guess he has his own way of thinking about things. Make no mistake, though. He has his good qualities, too. I hope you continue to get along with him. Thanks, I'll try. That's all you need, right? Tell Orlin that I'll prepare special lessons just for him. Thanks, Arya. Good news! I talked to Barrett. He said he prepares special lessons just for you, Orland. Really? That's good. Now I can learn lots of new stuff. Thanks, Arya. No problem. Barrett said he was impressed at how fast you wanted to learn, Orland. I am... I am too. I don't need your praise. Hey, are you blushing? No. Ah, uh, okay, sorry. Anyway, he also said you need to start getting along better with other people. Hm, I don't have time for that. Other people just hold me back. Barrett wouldn't be happy if he heard you talking like that. Yeah, I know, I know. Anyway, thank you, Arya. No problem. Here's something for your trouble. You got... two... under G... I guess I misread the name tag, or that, or it was bugged again. Alright. Neat! <laughs> give some potatoes to Rosalind. I made some roasted yams, and I want you to give them to Rosalind for me. But first, you have to come and get them. From Julia. Ah, uh, you made it. Well, this is kind of sudden, but can you do me a favor? Can you give this roasted yam to Rosalind for me? I made it on a whim just to see if I could, but I don't really like potatoes. It would have been a shame to see it just go to waste, though, and so I want Rosalind to have it. Rosa DM. Alright. Morning. Good morning, Arya. Cal came back. Isn't that wonderful, Arya? I did talk to you, I'm pretty sure. This is from Julia. Thank you very much for delivering it to me. 
Please remember to tell Julia thank you for me. I will. Ah, you did it. You really helped me out. Here's something for your trouble. 500 G. Thank you. Oh, another one for Julia? I thought you could only do one a day per person. Weird. For beauty's sake! A request from Julia. I heard that there's this food that's recently good for your beauty. I want it! Hey, Julia, I saw that me I saw the bulletin board. What do you need? Ah, uh, thanks for coming. Gosh, I'm always causing you so much trouble. Anyway, I've got another favor to ask you. This one might be a little trickier, though. I want a gold pumpkin. That's funny. It's kind of a, it's kind of pumpkin, but it's usually pretty hard to get your hands on. But it's supposed to be so good for maintaining your beauty. Like a hundred times better than any other food. So I want to try one. Do you think you can try help me out? Mm, sounds like it could be hard to find, but I'll give it a shot. Thank you so much, Arya. So when I said something was funny, it was that I actually had an extra for when I was doing stuff. <laughs> That's comedy. Alright. Wow, a gold pumpkin. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. This is amazing. I, I think I'm gonna cry. Thank you so much, Arya. Here's your reward. 3,000 G. That is not worth that. Now to see if this... Eating this really works. Thank you so much, Arya. Thank you. If this helps me even a little bit, it'll be worth it. Alright. I don't remember if this is something I need or not, so I'm gonna go try. Oh no, if it isn't Arya, you saw my request on the bulletin board, correct? Let's get right to it then. I'm missing a dish essential in any proper day thing called Kiel family dinner. I'm going to bring me fried lover snapper. Your payment will be 15,000 G. Good luck! Uh, lover snapper. I need to check where I get that. Okay. I technically can. Once upon a time, I could have got it from Alvarna Pond, but that was during the spring. So instead, if we head up here, is it here? Yeah, there it is. A Gabellio. Yeah, sure. Lover Snapper, that easy. All right. It was a hidden spot, but I did it. I think he wanted a fried lover snapper, <clears throat> which may require a higher cooking level, which means this may turn into a fishing episode. I brought you lunch. Donuts. Nice. 71. What is my cooking level? <sighs> 42. All right. Time to shut down the recording and set up a thing. Alright, so I only have 42 cooking. It requires level 71 to make a fried lover snapper. What this means is that I'm about to go full cooking mode, and we're going to help complete our cooking list. So I'm going to end the recording here, and I'm going to start prepping stuff, making a list, and get everything ready. I have a list technically, but I need to do like a checklist with it. So... See you in a second. See me in probably two days. <laughs> All right. Boy. Okay. So, autumn grass. Bright and vividly colored. Its name comes from its color, which is like that of the leaves in fall. Noel grass. A grass that is shaped, for some reason, like a tree. A really big tree if you happen to be a dwarf. Turbo. Both eyes are on the right side of the fish's body. Can change color to blend in with surroundings. Iron leaf, a spiky plant. It gets its shape from the iron in the soil, gentle despite its appearance. Emery flower, a completely gold flower, very hard to grow, making it a rare and special sight. And I've already shipped the blue crystal, but I'm gonna ship this one because I have it on me and I need the space. And now over here at the cook pot. Boiled gyoza. One sponge, one cabbage, and one flour. 
Now, I don't believe I have the recipe for this one, but one flour, one curry powder, one pink turnip, and one carrot come together to make the level 32 recipe curry udon. I do not have the recipe for this one, so an egg, rice, and onion come together to make the level 33, 36, or 39 recipe, depending on what style of egg you use. I'm using a large one, so this is a 39 recipe. The egg bowl. Alright, here in the pot, we're going to take one daikon, one leek, one charm blue, one rice, one white cabbage, and one hot hot fruit all together to make the level 35 recipe, the union stew. All right, once again in the pot, we're going to take red grass, rice, carrot, heavy spice, and curry powder all together to make the level 36 recipe, curry rice. Once again at the pot, we're going to take one pumpkin and boil it to make boiled pumpkin. And this time by hand, we're going to combine one cabbage, one boiled egg, one cucumber, green grass, tomato, and a daikon radish to make the level 7 recipe salad. Really? Right in front of my salad? This one, of course, being one that we have gotten through a couple different ways before, so you don't need to make this one if you're just doing a ship list kind of thing, but I'm trying to show everything, so. Over here at the fry pan, we're going to throw in a gabellio to make the level 24 recipe. Fried gabellio. Once again at the fry pan, we're going to throw in any kind of milk with any kind of egg to make the level 35 recipe, the omelette. And now, the fried gabellio. Gabellio is salted, then fried. The fresher the fish, the taste it would be when it is cooked. Salad, a combination of raw vegetables. Very, very nutritious. Boiled gyoza. Gyoza with thicker dough are used to allow boiling. Are used? but Has a moist, refined taste. Egg bowl, a flavored egg mixture poured over rice. The eggs can be sweet or salty, depending on your own taste. Union stew, a pot filled with a bit of everything. Cooked at the table, everyone must battle to grab what they want. Omelette, a standard plain omelette. It is a fair, it is a favorite at ev it is a favorite at breakfast everywhere in the world. Boiled pumpkin, flavored boiled pumpkin in a pot, creating a hot, sweet pumpkin dish. Curry rice, a mealtime staple, so much so that there isn't a soul, adult, or child who has not tasted it. Curry udon, a combination of udon and curry. Udon generally does well with grains, but this combination works too. Up in Trieste, I actually need to come here and grab some apples. Just as a heads up. Here at the mixer, we're making a classic. It's like level four, I think. Apple. Apple juice, Morgan, apple! And at the chem station, we need to make some sweet powder. And now to harvest some honey. Now in the fry pan, we're gonna do flour, milk, honey, uh, egg, and sweet powder all together. If this seems familiar, it should. For pancakes. We did this like two or three videos ago because I made it for somebody's birthday gift and forgot it wasn't a birthday gift, it was just a loved gift. Oh well. Alright. Here in the fry pan, we're gonna throw an onion, tomato, a toy herb, some rice, and oil in to make the level 20 recipe risotto. Now if you take an oil, an egg, some cabbage, and some flour in the fry pan together. You'll make the level 29 recipe cabbage cakes. Skill level increased. Now in the fry pan, we're gonna take one rice, one carrot, one curry powder, one green pepper, one onion, and one oil all together. Mind you, this is a level 46 recipe, so we don't have a guarantee here, maybe 70% chance. 
to make the dry curry. We're gonna see if we can do this twice. We did it. And let's take care of this while we're still doing this kind of thing. Spears three. Let's begin with Belver Belveros. I hope you're taking notes. Start with a Metis. For the second part of the spear, use a Monk Staff. Those will become the blade and shaft of the spear. Next, add spikes to the spearhead using a wolf fang. For more spikes, you also want a fish fossil. Next, attach the blade and shaft with a shoulder piece. Add the finishing touches with glue. Next is the Bior. First, you'll need a needle spear. For a stronger pull, you'll also be using a poison spear as well as an insect jaw. Gunpowder will make the process easier. For the blade, you'll need a scorpion tail. Cover it with poison powder and you're done. Next is a three-pointed spear, the trident. First, you'll need to prepare a gay bulk. Next, use both a fish fossil and a panther claw to strengthen the blade of the spear. For the shaft, you'll need glue. You'll also be using a shoulder piece, so have one ready. For the grip, use a little quality fur. Now for our final lesson of the day, the dragon's fang. First, you'll need to prepare a Belveros. Next, make a new blade using a wolf fang. The handle is made out of a fish fossil. Fasten it all together with a quality cloth. For the grip, you can use a fur. Unravel thread from a hood and wrap the spear. All right, that one worked. So on to scrolls of power and we'll see if this one's done. I feel like we've done that before, so. Today's lesson is on three different scrolls of power. First is the art of attack. Begin by spreading out a silk cloth. Use the tip of a bird wing to write the words of power on the silk cloth. Make the center of the scroll with a wolf fang. You also use a rage fang. You'll have to, you'll have to have a bullhorn. If you can acquire one of those, you shouldn't have any trouble writing the words of power. Finally, tie it up with a sparkle string. Next is the art of defense. Again, you'll start by spreading out a silk cloth. Write the words of power using a bird wing. Make the center of the scroll with a tortoise shell. You also use a broken box, as well as iron. Bind it with a sparkle string and you'll be done. The last one is the art of magic. Just like before, spread out silk cloth. You also need a bird wing. This time, write the words of power with fairy dust. Now, if you apply a magic powder, you should start to see the writing respond to the magic and begin to float. Make the center of the scroll from a devil horn. You'll also need a sparkle string to finish it off. Alright, pancakes. Often eaten at breakfast. Cool the frying pan before cooking for an even better taste. Apple juice. Fresh apple juice allows the natural taste, color, and flavors of apples to be, to be completely enjoyed. Cabbage cakes. Cabbage added to water and flour paste, then baked. The exact recipe changes depending on the region. Dry curry. Unlike regional, unlike regular curry, made without liquid sauce, can be eaten with rice or wrapped in bread. Risotto. Rice and sauce in wonderful harmony. The key is to make it not in a pot, but in a shallow frying pan. Alright. Alright, and all that has been shipped. Well, I'm thinking about it, actually. That puts me at 71% total and cooking. That's not a bad little improvement. Alright. Alright, we need to come up here to Padova now. 
partially because of energy and partially because I actually need to do a bit of fishing. So... Now we can fish in peace. Uh, rainbow trout. Neat. Another rainbow trout. Okay. Goodbye. I got a tuna. That's not specifically what I was looking for, but I very much appreciate that. Uh, time in. I don't know if I need that or not, but I'll keep it. Another tuna. I need it, so yeah, absolutely. Skill up for rainbow trout. Gross. Another time in. I'll check if I even need these. Yeah, sure enough, sadly, I don't need them. Oh, well. I needed both of those tunas, though, so appreciated. I don't understand how it's been this many casts with this good of a fishing rod. I know it's not evident at this point, but I was going for a fish. <laughs> like, a blowfish is supposed to be found here. Cannot seem to find it. All right, I'm gonna give up for today. Over here off the knife set, if we take one of our tunas, this is a level 31 recipe for tuna sashimi. Now if we take a tuna and a daikon together, we make the level 36 recipe, tuna teriyaki. All right, tuna teriyaki, fried tuna with sweet sauce added. Pasting the sauce numerous times during cooking is key. Tuna, these large fish are popular for their delicious taste. They're very expensive. Tuna sashimi, the best cuts of raw tuna. Very little can be obtained from each fish, making it very expensive. And I'm just going to ship all of the time in and rainbow trout that I got. I, I'll double check that I've shipped them. Give me just a second. My list doesn't say I have. I'm going to actually check in game. I've definitely shipped a time in. And rainbow trout. I'll read them. Might as well. Time in. The cousin of the salmon is... This cousin of the salmon is one of the largest of freshwater fish, both rare and expensive. Rainbow trout, a mid-sized freshwater fish, just as the name suggests, the males take on a rainbow luster when breeding. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I have like two hours of footage at this point, probably a little bit more than, so I'm going to be cutting that down to a reasonable time for you guys, just covering the different quests, different cookings, you know, doing the classes and whatnot. So you guys will probably have a half hour episode if I'm good at this. I don't, I don't know, maybe it won't. Um, I wish we'd gotten a bullfish. <laughs> I really do. I'll figure that out on my own. Um... I'll try to get it. I'll try to get us everything we need, and we just got to keep upping our, you know, cooking level. So eventually, we'll be able to make the fried lover snapper. But for now, I'm just going to continue trying to work on completion, uh, getting everything shipped, getting everything cooked, etc., etc. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.